how easy it is to miss the customer. Let me give you some quick examples of blindness. Uh, okay, so I went to a restaurant with my wife in Singapore. The menu was so small <laughs> that even with my glasses, I couldn't read it. So the waiter had to bring a torch to read the menu. Put up your hands if you've had difficulty reading a menu sometimes in the dark without glasses on. <laughs> Crazy! The menu is the primary marketing document but cannot be read by, your, <laughs> by the customers. Unbelievable. It just needs a bit larger type. Here is another example. Okay, so you go to a fantastic restaurant, you have this amazing meal, wonderful food, drink, but you can't catch the waiter's attention. Put up your hands if you have had this problem. Then why is it that waiters spend most of their time looking for insects on the floor? Why is it, it when it takes only five seconds to read the room? And every time you, you nod, you make money. Bill, sweet coffee, why? You know, most of the profit of a restaurant comes from the last bottle of wine, the coffee, and the sweet. How long does it take to teach a waiter to look around the tables as you go to the kitchen? It takes 20 seconds. How long for the waiter to learn that every time you nod and smile, you make money? Dun, dun, dun. It takes one hour for the waiter to double the tips he gets. How long for that restaurant that has been making a huge loss to go into profit? One week. From something that is so easy that any one of you could tell them how to do it better. How could they be so blind? Here is another example. I travel a lot in hotels. Night before last, I was in London. I got up in the morning, I had a shower, and a terrible thing happened. By accident, I had a shower with hair conditioner. Put up your hands if you've had that problem. Okay, come on, I know you have. I had 800 CEOs of hotels recently in my audience, just like this. I asked them all, I said, put up your hands if in your own hotel, by accident, you picked up the hair conditioner bottle in the shower and had an embarrassing experience. Okay, you've had it uh, yeah, laughing away, okay. 40% of them put up their hands. How can this be? I'll tell you why. I need glasses in the shower because I need reading glasses to read. But the shower read, the bottle has tiny, tiny print. It cannot be read. So, Listen, it doesn't matter whether it's the size of the prints in the menu. It doesn't matter whether it's teaching the waiter to use their eyes. It doesn't matter whether it's putting proper print on the bottle. I'm saying it is easy to think that we know our customer, but we don't. And the other thing is this. Tiny things create magic. It costs nothing just to print a larger label on the bottle, to teach the waiter to use their eyes. 